All right, what's going on, everybody? Uh, Physio Trader here. <coughs> we have just opened up on Riot. Riot is gapping down around 15%. And I was really hoping that this thing was going to spike up uh, before it decided to flush back down. Um, you know, obviously, I'm not taking this trade now, so let me just kind of show you what the uh, pre market data looked like here. So here's pre market just dropped consolidated a little bit dropped again we started to have a you know a recovery I was really hoping to get a push past 6350 uh, to open up a short position but looks like that's you know at that point it, it's not gonna hold because if this thing goes back up to 64 at this point that's awfully you know a bullish recovery and I'll have to reevaluate at the time being but right now um, Let's see what the market wants to give. Uh, watching several other things simultaneously. Uh, let's see, looks like Apple had quite a, a bull pull here on the opening bell. Um, Neo is dropping. Go back to riot. So this is uh, circuit breakers may indeed get it infected or affected here. Um, still shortable, which I like. See what the market wants to do first. So sixty four fifty just seems way too. Now obviously, it's still about a dollar away, but I mean, look at these candles. This is you know, almost a three dollar move in one minute, in and of itself. Um, now I'm still very uh, bearish on this sentiment here, but. This candle, like I said, in and of itself is not um, all that overextended just yet. Now, if I did throw an order out at 64.50, I never would have gotten filled, so no worries there. Now, I wouldn't mind taking a flush at 63, but it does. It has to get over 64 easily. Right now we've got 63.90 on the ask, okay, over 64. Market Palantir, awfully brutal. Hmm. Can't short this one. Certainly not going long on it. CCIV. If it wants to load, yeah, it's coming back to life here. 61 market. Let's 
what is going on. Why'd that say market? Let me order. Am I missing something? All right, I'm going to go ahead and pause until I can see if I can find anything here. All right, I have an order out here at 67.40 to short 400 shares for my opening allotment, but it's got to break past that 67 mark and preferably do it very, very quickly. Um, Okay, I got those. It's 60, Hasn't really violated anything too aggressively right now. Although it is still getting quite aggressive. to break 6810 just even break even on the trade does she want to do spy still going pretty green right now so that's not helping me out right now But once you get down to 67.80 or 67.70, then I would be willing to take off some off the sh off the table, just because I don't want this to get ahead of me too much. But again, it has to break 68.10, 68.70 on the bid. I did not get filled on any of those. Um, 68.22. So it looks like this is the new line in the sand. Does it want to make another push to the downside? So again, 68.05, 67.95. Does it want to make a push to the downside? Holding strong. So 
So here I had my order to take me out at 67.70. I was off by seven cents to take out at least half of my allotment. I think at this point, yeah. Just because I don't want to risk, you know, getting too exposed on this trade. But again, it has to break 68.10 to even be green on the trade whatsoever. It's not going up or down, which means it's consolidating, which isn't actually in favor of me. So we need this thing to break down. Again, I adjusted to take profit or to take some off the table at 67.80. Can we break 80? Looks like I was about to get some, but I didn't. Did not get any of those filled. So got those filled, so $60 on that trade. So I'm just gonna take the money at, at a 111. I just, this thing unfortunately, it's holding way too strong, so I'm just gonna take the, the profit and I'm you know I'm willing to build a position, but right now it's just, it's not looking pretty. Um, I was really thought that this thing was gonna flush. Uh, 67.60, the lowest on this one was 67.80, which is where I got out. So I got out at the bottom on this candle, at the very end of this candle. It went as low as 67.76. Again, 76 is holding incredibly, incredibly strong. So that's 67.75 mark to break. Um, in hindsight, or you know, not in hindsight because we don't know hindsight yet, but in all actuality, this bad boy is probably at some point going to flush. And if it does break this, it's probably going to make a move way down to where my initial um, potential exit point was going to be. But you know, either way, it just wasn't moving the way I wanted it to. Um, and you know, I'm not mad about it. I'm glad I took the shares off. It just you had to be willing to adjust the plan. Um, that 6830 mark is, is just holding really strong. I was really hoping for this type of move right here, just a, a slaughterhouse, which we did not get. So I'm happy with what I did. Um, you know, adjust the plan. You always have to adjust the plan based on, uh, you know, what the chart is telling you. And the chart was telling me is that this number did not like to get violated. Now, to be quite honest, if 67.75 wants to be broken, this might have a very good flush potential. So I wasn't gonna watch it, but there we go to 60, but it bounces right back up. You know, I'm really looking for a, just a savage drop. Um, all right, well, so there you go. Now again, not saying I would have played this because after it made new highs, I would not have wanted to you know, be a part of that position. I really was still hoping this thing to drop way in the 66s. So um, again, still might get there, but it did not do it in the time frame in which I was looking at. Oh, and as a reminder, these are two minute candles. So up here you see these two minute bars. I actually thought I was trading on the one minute bar. So I confused myself. It's the biggest upset about light speed is that where it adjust my moving averages. Okay. Okay, what's up everybody? Um, so I'm sorry, I, so I'm gonna be done for the day. So three trades in all, um, one trade on Riot, which I believe I did catch on, on camera, the second trade on ticker symbol NIO, NEO, and then uh, Tesla. Um, Palantir is just kind of on the screen. I'm not really doing anything with it. Um, but, you know, so my wife came in and talked to me during this trade, and then I was actually just working, found a quick scalp. Uh, I can review those really quick. So NEO is just bleeding out. The whole market's really just bleeding out. But it's not giving any, like, fast, you know, moves to the downside. <clears throat> and so out here, so green is where I got in. Uh, let's see. Zoom in. Um so green is where I had gotten in um, 
for Neo. So what happened was, is this thing was just bleeding out, had this lower shadow here, uh, not much moving here, another lower shadow, so a hander, hammer candle going on here, but still predominantly a doji. Um, and then on this candle, actually where I had gotten out at, um, after I'd gotten out, I kind of looked at the chart and said, oh wow, okay. Um, but so 400 shares, just quick in and out, in at 52.56, out at 52.64. Um, I was actually trying to get this on my other account with Charles Schwab, but Charles Schwab, of course, is having problems yet again. And so the platform's just not working again. And so I'm really just disappointed overall, probably just gonna remove all of my account funds with them at this point, but um, we'll see. Um, but either way, so I just got in and out. These are two minute bars. So, I mean, that one was um, less than 10 seconds. So $32 in less than 10 seconds, I'll take it. Um, and then Tesla, I actually didn't play very well. Um, so Tesla, it was dropping down. I was looking for um, a play above 737 or 738, just because of this big candle, just we dropped so ruthlessly. Um, and so we had this, I got in, which was at the, what I thought was about to be the end of this. I threw my order out at 7.38, so it actually got like kind of a bad fill um, because when I thought I was getting filled it was closer to 7.37.20 or so. Um, I got in, this thing just immediately went against me, which I was okay with. I started out with a very small share size. Started out with 50, willing to go all the way up to 250. Um, but I did not also want to make, you know, my red day up to this point at $143. You know, I didn't want to make a red day go green or, or green day go red. And so um, eventually I just got out. And actually, you know, in hindsight, I'm not mad about getting out here. Uh, the true thing that I did was this trade, I found out very, very quickly, which again, this trade occurred in about 21 seconds. So again, uh, less than a dollar a second or about a dollar per second. So I'm, I'm not all upset about it either way. But I noticed during this trade that I was not watching the chart. I was not watching the level twos over here at all. My eye was glued right here. And I was focused on just the PL. And that is not where we want to be as traders. That's again, that is not where we want to be as traders. I was focused on the PL. I was just so worried and mentally, you know, consumed with the idea of, of making, uh, you know, I really didn't want to get under $100 uh, of a green day. And so it just, it consumed me. And and then I was just like, you know what, I'm getting out. I put in my order to get out at 738. I got out at 738.07. So $15 there. Now again, you know, if we play through this, this thing ended up, you know, really making some moves. Um, let me see if we can move this. So it really ended up, you know, going back up quite a bit where it would have worked out. You know, had I even thrown in a stop, I would have been pretty well off. And then I think it does, you know, flash forward through, you know, kind of. So here's my order. Yeah, so I, I would have worked out, uh, you know, almost $10 per share. That would have been, you know, a nice move, um, you know, quite handsomely. But um, like I said, as soon as I realized I was watching the PL and not the chart, not the level twos, which realistically, I want to be focused over here on the level twos. I use the chart to find my order, and after that, I'm on the level twos. Um, these are the level twos for those of you who don't know. Um, but uh, I just, as soon as I realized that, I got out, and then I just kind of decided, well, I've got other things to do for the day. I'm working. Uh, I don't want to be distracted. And you know what? It's it's okay. The day is about. So right now it's 11:47 um, New York time. So it's it's actually almost nine o'clock for me. I'm in California, so. Uh, three hour time uh, difference there, but um, <clears throat> that's going to call it for me for the day. Most likely I may make a trade later in the afternoon, but um, it, the likelihood is still very, very low. And it's, I got other things to do with my day. So um, if you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment in the comment section, like it, if you like it, subscribe to the channel. Um, I'm hoping to learn and grow uh, as a trader and as a, a YouTuber in the process. So thank you for watching.